Alright, how's it going guys? Joy Nation here. Uh, just doing a BG on the PvP realm. Uh, running BM Hunter right now. I can give you a quick overview of the spec. Uh, running Animal Companion, you just get the double pet. Uh, it's fantastic damage. Uh, Chimera Shot, I'm kind of testing out, seeing how the focus is. It does a little damage, but it also uh, gives you focus back. I found one with the pack. I just wasn't getting that many procs. Uh, Natural Mending, just to get some quicker heals. Murder of Curls for the burst. Post haste just for some kiting and um, it's nice to get out of roots. Stomp is just that AoE from your uh, pet. Aspect of the Beast just buffs your pet. And then in terms of uh, talents, uh, I'm running survival attacks just to uh, just help get some dots off and some slows and roots. But uh, running what I like kind of call zoo spec where you have like basilisk and a hawk. So essentially it synergizes with your Azerite gear, and so you can see this the pack alpha bonus on Azerite is basic attack deals 563 more damage for each pet you have active. So I have this on three pieces, and I have two pets here and two pets here when they're off cooldown. So that's four pets out doing 563 for each pet bonus. So essentially it just compounds and does an insane amount of damage um, when you want. So yeah, it's awesome. I'm running the uh, scorpion pad just to get the uh, mortal wounds. Uh, it's kind of nice having the spirit beast to be honest. Like you, you do get a uh, spirit beast heal, which I'm lacking here, so my healing's a little bit worse. But uh, you know, it makes up with it within the mortal wounds. Really good for killing healers. So let's see. So yeah, if we try here, we'll just open full burst on this guy. Let's see how much. It's, like, look at the damage it does. Just absolutely opens them up. That's without Beast of Wrath too. With Hot Beast of Wrath, this guy is just getting eaten alive by damage. Go up there, but there's a huge fight here. It's beta, may as well have some fun. Okay, so they got a healer in the back. We'll stun the healer. Let's throw crows on him. So we can just see here. Ooh, I'm taking some serious damage here. So even autos alone, I'm sitting here and they're doing 11 12k crits. They're just absolutely tearing this guy up. Oh, I need to get out. This is I'm gonna die here for sure. I'm not getting out. Ah, it's alright. So yeah, looks like I opened up top damage there, and if we kind of do a quick little breakdown while I'm dead here, so Claw, so 40% of my damage was just in the pet's autos, secondary is 11% at auto shot, so, I mean, the spec is definitely really reliant on your pet, I mean, the, the build that I'm kind of running within the spec is, is of course pet heavy, but I mean, all the specs right now are kind of, uh, or all the builds you can do as a BM hunter, they're all, they're all pet heavy, like, there's no way to really buff your other damage, so we're kind of really reliant on the uh, on the pets, which is yeah, I don't know. I know it's part of the spec, but sometimes it can get uh, okay, trouble here. Really need a heal. run over here. Hold on. Got one healer each, so it's not like we're too stacked, but we're just getting plowed DPS wise, I guess. I don't know. Um just need some more people here before we run in. This is just crazy. I'm gonna go give this guy a hand, see if we can get the card. Seven K. See, wow, we are just no, everyone's just in the graveyard. <laughs> okay. 
that one healer so so here i'll pop basilisk i'll pop crows bestial wrath and send the pets on them and just watch them go 4k dropping 9k back for a little more I guess we can uh, definitely handle that was in this guy nice bonus with uh, BM now you pop Cobra shot and it resets or reduces the cooldown of kill command, which is pretty nice. It's kind of nice to sneak those in for a little bit of a rotation. Healer's back, so we're gonna have to deal with that. Be some wrath back up, so let's do some work here. Kick on. We got pet stun. Yeah, 11k crit. So their their claws alone, like it's doing insane damage on on targets. So definitely the spec to be if you want uh, heavy pet damage. Just triple triple Azerite traits here for for the pet multiplier, and yeah, it's it's definitely no joke DPS wise. to see if that was increasing the damage but it, it didn't seem like it it's pretty hard to, to check that but uh but from what i was noticing like it doesn't count as a physical pet not like the other two so i don't really know why the um the dire beast hawk really counts but it seems like it's it's calculating in so i'll take it that's that's all right with me yeah, I definitely do think I want to give survival a bit of a try though. It, uh, it definitely has a little bit more to the spec. And you're not just, just plugging people with uh, auto attacks from your pet and from yourself. It's it's not as satisfying. Um, Alright, so I got burst in like 8 seconds here for this healer. We'll see what we can do. Okay, so we pop Basilisk, Bros, and then we just munch him. Yeah, he's going down here. Yeah. So we took the healer out. That was nice. We're gonna see if we can. Uh, what else we can do here? Your multi shot cleaves pretty well, so it's worth using. Pull it up again on the death. Yeah, so 24% on claw, 11% on auto shot, so yeah, 35% of my damage. Oh, and they split claw here. So yeah, that's like 33% damage just, just in pet alone. auto attacks at least so yeah it's it feels nice because you're strong and you hit hard i'm sure my damage numbers are all right yeah i'm topping the meters here but like overall for the feel of it it's it's i don't know it's it can be fun but it can be pretty lackluster too so it's for me it's uh it's kind of tough like like i can pop full cooldowns on this warlock here and i know like i'm just gonna absolutely run him over there's no way he's surviving this yeah, so I can just I can almost solo any any class with this build, but yeah. Just didn't get down to kind of the nitty gritty on it. It's yeah, it's so so for at least playstyle wise. Some people really really like it. I mean, it brings a lot of utility. You have a lot of defenses to rotate through, so I can see arenas being perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm gonna pop all the pets on this guy and just, yeah, watch him just melt. 
transfer over, we can keep going. Go on this hunter. Go over. On the alley. Pick him there. Herbie's hawk is back up. And there's the BG. So, yeah, not too many killing blows, but top damage. And some of those I was peeling off even of the cards. So, I, I don't know. I wasn't going full sitting in the middle. But uh, running the breakdown here, yeah, you're just heavy claw damage. 20, they broke it into two, but so that's 32% just in auto attacks alone, plus another 11 from my personal uh, bow auto attack. So, yeah, there's a BG for you. Give you a little feel of how BM's going right now in BFA. And um, yeah, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'd love feedback on it. And if you, if you want to see something else, uh, either other classes or just within the hunter specs as well. Uh, like I said before, I think I might look to cover some survival. It, it seems like it's the other spec that's doing really well for, for pressure and healing. Like looks like the guy right below me here was a survival hunter. So yeah, something to consider for a future video, but we'll see you all later. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed that Battleground video. Please check out the other content on the channel and if you're enjoying it, uh, please subscribe. I'd like to know down in the comments below which class you think you're going to main in BFA. Until then, I'll see you next video.